Well, good evening, good evening, good evening. This is the Minister Marquise L. Kimball coming to you live here. And I wanted to kind of go over the complaint that we have uh, that is pending with McNeil Chevrolet located at 220 West Airport Highway, Swanton, Ohio, 43558. Uh, we did file a police report because the reality of it is we have evidence that the, the uh, someone that works at McNeil Chevrolet attempted to contact me impersonating the Swanton Police Department. Now, this is a huge issue for me because we have uh, documented evidence of the mistreatment that we experienced by the Swanton Police Department. I was subjected to a wrongful interrogation, a wrongful fingerprinting, and then they destroyed my professional name and career by falsely accusing me of being responsible of the hate crime that occurred at our business back on January 17th, 2022. We have uh, substantial evidence that our former agent, Jeff Lambert, who is also located in Swanton, Ohio, shared our personal claim information with an unauthorized third party who is not listed on our policy with State Farm. This is a complete violation of our rights as well as our privacy, as the law clearly states that you cannot share personal claim information with anybody that is not listed on your policy or there's no, or, or you don't have an obtained an authorization, written consent for that information to be disclosed. Well, State Farm st shared our personal information with an unauthorized third party who was responsible for completely burglarizing our business right under the Swanton Police Department's nose. So not only were, did we go through a hate crime the first time, we went through a second crime where none of our property was returned to us. We were still covered under insurance State Farm's policy uh, the Swanton Police Department allowed this to happen. Uh, the Swanton Police Department completely mistreated us. And then McNeil Chevrolet had the nerve to contact me impersonating the same Swanton Police Department. This raises suspicion of possible involvement, because at the end of the day, why are you contacting me impersonating the same Swanton Police Department that mistreated me? It, McNeil's went on further to tell me that they had to disassociate themselves with me, their former finance manager of seven years, if there was anything uh, that I was going to proceed against the Swanton Police Department. So they told me uh, that basically they could no longer talk to me or associate with me, although I was a seven-year employee as the finance manager, because they got wind that somebody told them that I was going after the Swanton Police Department. Once again, that brings suspicion of what involvement, if any, did they have in this crime that occurred at our business. None of these people were investigated. The Swanton Police Department did not investigate McNeil's. State Farm did not investigate McNeil's. State Farm is required to do a full thorough investigation on anybody concerning anything. They took me through a six hour questioning where I completely told them I worked at McNeil's. They questioned me about McNeil's. Why didn't they investigate McNeil's? Why didn't they question anybody at McNeil's? Why did McNeil Chevrolet say these things to me after the seven years of complete racial discrimination that I put up with as the finance manager? For seven years, I put up with the Harambe jokes, the, the token black guy. I put up with the, the Toby jokes over the seven years I worked there, and I resigned in 2018. I was not going to go after them for this, but when they decided to contact me impersonating the Swanton Police Department, that reset the statute of limitations. So now we're going to talk about all of these things that I had dealt with as the finance manager working over the seven years and the racial discrimination against African Americans that I witnessed as I worked at that dealership. I have substantial evidence. I have all of the evidence to back what I'm telling you. So if you're African American, do not shop at McNeil Chevrolet. I'm telling you right now, 220 West Airport Highway, Swanton, Ohio, they are filled with African-American discrimination. And all you got to do is pull the car deals and you can see this information. I'm not making these things up. These guys did this. They broke the law. They violated our rights. And I don't know who's responsible for what, but that entire community is under the scope because I don't know who robbed my business. And at the end of the day, somebody's going to be held accountable for this. This is ridiculous that it's two years later. State Farm hasn't settled this claim. They did not investigate McNeil's. McNeil's contacted me impersonating the police. The Swanton Police Department mistreated me as an African-American. And at the time, the only African-American business located in Swanton. I had this conversation with the mayor. I told the mayor what happened to me. They have record of the mistreatment that I experienced and nothing was done about it. 
I've never been in trouble at, at all in my life. I'm a public notary. I'm a minister. And yet I was told I was they, they completely defamed my character and put on public record that I was responsible with no evidence of the crime. Not to mention the fact that they showed up late, an hour late after our store alarms notified them, and they were 0.2 miles from our business. So explain that to me. You're told at 6.45 that there's a disturbance at our business, and you don't show up till 7.15. You're 0.2 miles from our business. And then you, then somehow I'm responsible for the crime, and you guys were late? How would I be responsible or anybody I knew unless they knew that you were going to show up late? It's a complete racial discrimination in this whole community. And at the end of the day, I'm not going to stop until they're all held accountable. There is a complaint with the Ohio Civil Rights Commission ongoing at this point, and we're pending litigation. We've sent out demand letters. We're expecting a resolution, and these guys have been silent. So I need you guys as the public to share this information, like this information, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Because at the end of the day, this injustice has to be accounted for. This has to be discussed. These elected officials have to be notified. We've notified the governor. We've notified the senator. Now, at the end of the day, it's time for these guys to be held accountable for what happened to me and our business, the HCV Distribution Corporation, formerly the HCV store. Our building was completely taken from us, and we had a land contract purchase on it. This is a complete shame. And at the end of the day, we were ousted out of that community, robbed twice, under the watch of the Swanton Police Department, and nothing was done about it. I need you to share this information. Those of you that have shared, I thank you. I appreciate you. And again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be blessed on purpose.